Hello kids, this is Nadia Mom. Welcome back to our Beat Online Art Session. Yes, we are in the last week of the wildlife month. So it's kind of sad for me. Yeah, it's okay. But let's talk about the session 7. What is that we are going to learn in session 7? So any guesses? So I hope by seeing the worksheets you probably wouldn't have got any idea what is this animal. I don't know most of the people wouldn't have got but some people who are very much talented would have got it. Okay, so in our worksheet 13, the thing which we are going to learn is a sloth. Have you heard about a sloth any time before? So here we are going to learn how to draw a sloth by drawing a circle and an oval for the body. So everything is given in the reference image and also in the instructional video. So you have to follow the same steps as usual. So sloth is very a lazy animal which always lives on trees and sleeps on trees. Okay, so it's really a kind of cute and funny animal. So you, we will be learning how to draw a sloth in this worksheet and also we'll be coloring it. Okay, so now moving on to the worksheet 14. So we will be drawing, coloring an okapi. Sorry, we will not be drawing it. There is already an image given in your worksheet. So we will be just coloring it. So what is an okapi? Have you heard about it before? So okapi is also known as a forest giraffe. So when we see okapi, so we also feel that it is kind of a, a zebra giraffe. So it is a mixture of kind of that. So we will be learning how to color it. And of course, this is also given in the instructional video. How do you have to use your color pencils or the watercolor pencils in order to color it and outline it? So please follow the instructional video. And if you have any doubts, please reach us through Google Classroom or Artbeat number. So let's quickly move on to our worksheets. Hello kids, so in this worksheet, we're going to draw a slot and also we're going to color it. So what all we need? We need a sharpen pencil, eraser, and we need a ruler, sharpener, and also we need a micron pen. So I'm using a 0.5 micron pen. You can even use your black color pencil and sketch pen. And we need all our color pencils and write your name and teacher's name. Before we start, please write your name and teacher's name. I'll be waiting for a minute. Okay, so now I'll be drawing all the four boxes together. So hence, I'm using a long ruler. I was just tired by using a small ruler and to draw the four boxes again and again. Instead, I can use the long ruler and draw the four lines and the four boxes all together. Isn't it smart? So by the time I draw the line, please, I hope you have completed draw, writing your name and the teacher's name. Once you are done with that, please start drawing the boxes. I'm almost completed with all the four boxes now. I'm drawing all those straight lines again. Now all my four boxes is completed. And it is not necessary that you have to even follow the same thing. You can even draw one box at a time and draw, do the first step and second box another time and do the second step. You can do that as well. Not an issue. And please maintain your worksheet neat and clean and draw the line with a thin line so that you have to make sure that your pencil is sharp enough to get a thin straight line. Okay, now all our four boxes are ready. So let's begin with our worksheet. So now what is the first step which you can see here? So we are just making the branch and the face of the slot and the body of the slot. It is just a outlining which we are doing. It is not a complete artwork. So I'm just drawing the curved line for the branch. And please do not make sure that you will not let the lines out of the box. Do not do that. So now I'm drawing a oval shape. 
and the shape of the body. Can you see that? Yes. Now we are done with our first step. And again in the second step, we will be doing the same thing as in the first step. We are drawing the branch. Then we will draw the face, the oval shape. And then we will draw the body shape. It is also like a big oval. And then we will make a shape of the hand and the leg. It is just like a U mark. Nothing else. Now we are even done with our second step. So we are going very fast, isn't it? Wow. So now we will make our third step. So we will repeat the same first step and the second step in order to make the third step. So first I have drawn the branch. Then I am making the oval shape for the face. Then I am making the shape of the body. And now I am adding a small hair on the top because the sloth is having that. That's the reason. Okay, and now I'm making the hands and the legs. So if you can see in the second step we made only one hand and one leg. Now we are making the two hands and two legs. So the other hands, other two, I mean to say that other one hand and other one leg is behind it. So we're just giving a small lining so that we can understand there is a leg and a hand. Just erasing the branch so that I can add the leg fingers and the hand fingers. So it is holding a branch and swinging around. Now we are completed with our third step as well. So we will repeat all the three steps again and we will make the final slot sketch. So here I am drawing it very light. So as you people have got to know how to draw all the three steps, we will be repeating the same. And I am drawing it lighter because before we color, we have to make sure that the pencil marks are not visible at all. If the pencil marks are too dark and if we make any mistake and if we erase, the pencil marks will never go. And when we color, it looks very odd. So please avoid drawing the sketch darker and please make sure as much as possible you draw it lighter making the face of the sloth so repeat all the three steps and the only thing which we'll be adding is here the eyes nose and the mouth of the sloth apart from that we have already done the rest of the things in the previous three steps almost done and now I'm adding some leaves for the branches as well now we are done with our sketch of this log making it more lighter here now we will outline the slot. So use your micron pen. If you don't have a micron pen, please use your sketch pen. Or you can even use your black color pencil. But you have to make sure that the black color pencil is nice and sharp. The outline has to be always a thin line. Should not be very thick. It looks odd. Now I'm outlining the slot completely. If you can see the eyes and the nose when I was drawing with a pencil, now you can observe how I have drawn the eyes and the nose. Now I'm outlining the body of the slot. 
and the legs outlining the other hand which is behind and I'm adding the finger so that it appears like this lot is holding the branch now it is done and now I'm outlining the branches I'm outlining the leaves now so if you have not observed how to draw the leaves, you can observe it now and do, do the same kind of leaves. Almost done with outlining. Please be careful while outlining because we cannot erase if you do any mistakes. Now I have done outlining for the complete slot. I'm just erasing all the extra pencil marks now. So we, it's important that we maintain our worksheet needs. So erase all the extra pencil marks after outlining it. And now we will start coloring this slot. So what all colors you can see in the image? So we can see a sky blue color. We can see the green color for the leaves. And also... We can see the orange and brown shade for the slot. Now what I'm doing is I'm even outlining the four-sided border. I'm done outlining the four-sided border as well. Even you have to outline the four-sided border so that it looks very neat. Okay, now we'll be using the sky blue color for the sky and we'll be using green color for the leaves. And we'll be using orange and brown shade for the slots. Yes, for the branch we'll be using a gray color. In the image it is given as a gray branch so we'll be using the same color as given in the reference image if you don't have the same color you can use the similar color and you can color it done coloring with the branch now i'm using the dark brown color for the fingers only for the fingers not for the body and all using the green color for the leaves I'm just giving a darker shade near the eyes for this lot that I'm using a black color for that I'll be using green color for the leaves and blue color for the sky and orange for the slot use the same colors or the similar colors and complete your worksheet and do not forget to upload it in the google classroom and practice this again and again if you have any doubts please leave a comment in the google classroom and remember after solve is a good start